this is my first tutorial on how to export a Google SketchUp model to 3D Lab. So first, first of all, you can make your own model. I'm on my modifying fins, or you can get a model from 3D Warehouse. Well, I'm going to use a model from 3D Warehouse, but you can still make your own model. I bet you can find out how to do it from other tutorials. So I'm going to get a model from 3D Warehouse. So I'm going to search for um, a handgun. This one, I'm going to download it. And I do not need this person now. I just need a gun. This is the second thing I need to make me get. And I can move it. Move it to, I should move it to the center. Because otherwise it will be, um, very far away from the access point and um, it will be very hard to configure in 3D Lab so put it in the middle like this and make it right click it and on flip along put it on components green like this and I'll just check if the everything's okay. Yeah, everything should be okay. So now I'm gonna export the model. So then you go to plugins. Well, you're gonna have to get a plugin. The link is in the description, as well as the SketchUp link. And then, uh, in this case, um, to make a gun, make it export it as a skin mesh with back faces. But as a terrain, I will do skin mesh, and as an object that you want it to move, and you want it to drop, then do di dynamic heavy body with mass models. So eight or nine, or if you want it just floating in the air, then just do seven. And um, if you want it to a rigid body to float without moving at all, then do 5. And um, you can do a lot of other options, but today I'm going to do export a skin mesh with back faces as number 3. Sorry if it takes too long, I just have to. Now I'm going to save it on the skin mesh file. Just don't change the file because that's the program file. And I'm going to Pick that um, hand gun tool because I think I already have a hand gun. Let's see, I have this one, I have this one. Oh, yeah, I, even, I have just a gun, no hand gun. So I'm going to save it as hand gun. Yeah, okay, it's there. Some objects do take time. And now. I should, when I open my model on 3D Lab, get my 3D Lab model. So I'm going to add, and it was saved on for the skin mesh, as I remember. And then double click it, click on change, and then click on the, the file that you saved it in as me being gun and here you go here is your gun it might be a bit off the axis but that's okay it's just a bit hard to configure often so that's um, it for today's tutorial so goodbye